Hello there, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today, the all-important subject of balance in the golf swing. I'll give you a test so that you know if you're doing it correctly, and that will help you get the correct feel so that you can keep doing it. Now, certainly the quality of your balance and address, the way you move the golf club, if it's complex, etc., those things affect balance in the golf swing. But by the same token, if you work on your balance, they also help those things come out a little bit better. So let's start with a close-up look at this drill. I think you find it helpful. So put a club on the ground, stand on it, and put the club under the arches of your feet, right about under the front of your shins there, and you'll start to feel a sense of neither being in the heels nor the toes. The balls of my feet are touching the ground, but I feel lively. I feel this middle of the foot balance point and that middle of the foot balance point should contain, or should continue, I should say, through the backswing and into the early part of the downswing, neither heels nor toes too much. Adam Scott there, one of the best swingers in the world. That's his tracer map at the top. His toes are at the bottom, heels at the top. So he's hitting, as we look at it, to the right. And you can see that clean line to the middle of his back foot on the way back. The other line's going and the weight shift coming forward. But you can see not a lot of heel to toe stuff on that backswing. Now, certainly pressure should build on that back foot there again, the middle of the shoe, but don't shift it or force it. The sheer swinging motion, the weight of the arms and the club swinging will help you gather that. You'll feel pressure there, but again, don't shift it. It's something you have to practice. I suggest set up a practice station next to where you're practicing, hit a few shots, then pop back on it and get the feel. You'll be in good position to start your downswing. Let's check that out. So important as you start that downswing that you don't excessively thrust the arms and shoulders. So many golfers do this. Just leave them passive and feel that little bump of your weight. Picture a baseball player, how the arms stay in place as they start down, and you'll get that nice flow, that nice easy bump. I would practice it both with and without a club, and then try it with a shot. Again, passive arms, feeling that little bump of weight on a fairly small scale. Let's rehearse it. And through I go. Does the weight stay in the middle of this lead foot? It doesn't. Let's have a final look in slow motion at what happens through impact. So as we look a little bit closer up, you'll notice again, the weight transfer happens without the arms really doing anything. There's passive arms. That facilitates it, makes it so much easier to transfer. And I'm transferring directly across the line to the middle of that front foot. But once I've gotten into, let's say, the delivery position, you'll notice now as my left side turns out of the way, watch the weight go towards that lead heel or that left heel. So you'll be finishing more back underneath your left heel. Hope this helps.